Welcome, welcome. Hope everyone is doing great today. Uh, today is another cold day here in Texas. It's freezing tonight. So I wanted to make another um, comfort food for a wintry weather. And it's, it's another Tongan favorite that um, I chose to make for today. So this is called Vai Lesi, and it's made out of the papaya um, and coconut milk. So let's go ahead and cut this up. So um, just make sure you've rinsed your papaya very well because being at the grocery store, it can get um, very dusty. And so, so let's go ahead and cut into this. So this is the papaya. Um, inside is the seeds, which is very healthy for you, but we are going to take that out. take the papaya the seeds out of there um, it can be very bitter we're going to take it out but if it gets you know if i miss one and it ends up in, being in our vilesi it's okay it's quite all right Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this. So since it's so cold, I wanted to get all these uh, comfort foods out. Um, and then we'll see what else we can make. But hopefully this will be useful to your wintry days. Yeah, I love Vilas. I I love the papaya. There we go. You guys, this is such an easy, easy recipe. So, be sure Tongans make their Vilesi different. Everyone has their own way of making their favorite foods. And, and this is the way I make it. Um, So 
So we're just cutting this into cubes. But um, I, I love papaya. The taste, the texture, I love it. And while we're cutting this, we're going to have our water boiling. Okay, you guys. So we're going to put this into our pot. And I'll be right back. Looks like our water's boiling here. So go ahead and add. The papayas that I've chopped up are cut up into cubes in here. Just be careful not to splash it. Okay, give it a good stir. And we're gonna give it about five minutes. Uh, so it's cooking right now. Once it boils, we'll go ahead and put some coconut milk in there. Be right back. Stir, and we're gonna give it about five minutes to cook down. And I'll be right back. So let me bring it forward. I, I want our papayas a papaya to get soft and that's why we're cooking it down cooking be right back okay guys so looks like it's uh, boiling again it's uh, pretty soft what I'm gonna go ahead and do I have a um, I have a hand blender You don't have to get it all, all uh, blended, but um, because, um, you know, I still have little chunks like that. So, this is coconut milk. Any brand is fine. Give that a good stir. Okay, guys, looks like it's come to a boil. The coconut milk is boiling. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our milk. I got sweet and condensed milk that I'm going to use. This is what I'm going to use to sweeten our papaya puree. So I'm using this. Okay guys, so it's um, it's bubbling up. So it's ready. This papaya puree is ready. Let me just give it a little taste. Oh, it's so, so delicious. I'm just gonna add another um, See a tablespoon in there. And what I also like in my papaya 
In my Vilesi, I add a, in a little bit of honey. And you don't have to, you could just uh, add in your sweet and condensed milk. Um, if you don't want to add sweet and condensed milk, you can add white sugar or brown or raw sugar. And that would be a cup of that to start with and then just sweeten to taste, okay? Okay, guys, let's try it. Try it again. Oh, man, that is so good, guys. That's so delicious. So, I'm going to bring this back to you in a mukbang. Be right back. And um, if you were just here for the recipe, then I hope you have a good night. And um, then I'll be back with a mukbang. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to be here with you uh, again. Um, hope everyone is doing great, especially staying warm during this winter weather. Um, today, I decided to make another Tongan favorite and that is, um, this is called Vailesi. Vailesi is made out of papaya, as you saw me making it, but, um, and coconut milk. That's it, just papaya, but you can also add some coconut flakes in there if you want to, because I didn't want the coconut flakes uh, to disappear in that, um, in, uh, to be cooked down I wanted it to to stand out so that's why I'm just now adding it but yeah coconut flakes you can add that into your um, Vilesi or you can just leave it out but before we begin I'd like to go ahead and bless the food dearly father thank you for this food please bless it that it may nourish our bodies in the name of Jesus Christ amen Okay, let's get started. All right, you guys. Earlier, I wanted to know what parts of the country do you guys live in? And um, if you're living in a cold area, this is the perfect comfort food for you to eat if you want to try it. And... Um, you see all these chunks of papayas in there. So when I blended it, it gave it some of its juices into, into the, uh, the juice there. And so. Oh, you guys. I hope you guys try it. It's so, so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. That's very delicious. And when and what I mentioned earlier, if you don't want to use sweetened condensed milk, you can always use the white sugar or any sweetener that you want. Um, you can also um, use you can also use um, uh, honey. I like putting honey into this. Mm. Mm. I like adding honey. Oh. Oh, you guys, that's so, so delicious. This big chunk is for you.
Oh, that's so good. That's so it's so good that really warms your body up that's so good put a big old chunk of papaya right there That is just like soup, but it's sweet. <laughs> I've always loved eating um, eating this. Um, how many of you guys have tried papaya? It takes getting, you know, some people are open to try other countries' foods, and some people are not. I, I for one, love tasting foods from other countries. I love that. I, I love the different flavors different seasonings that um, different countries have. And um, I love it. Uh, me and my girls tried African fruit. The agusi was, you know, it's it's made almost like our uh, the Polynesian lu, uh, Tongan lu, but um, they have different seasoning to it. And Loved it. Loved uh, African food. Loved Indian food. I want to try um, Filipino food. I want to try all kinds of foods. I love Mexican food. Mm. Mediterranean. I want to try that. I see I have an audience from Burma. Bur Burma. Um, some Burmese food. I would love that. Uh, I have an audience from Iraq. Thank you for watching from there. Uh, I'm gonna to try to find some food from Iraq. And if you can just throw me some ideas on what to look for, what types of food, I'd, I will definitely go and find that. Um, there's also, and then I have a shout out to my New Zealanders Kia to you guys and Australians. Thank you for watching. And here in America, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys is a uh, you guys taking the time to watch my my channel, my videos. Very exciting, very exciting to see uh, 
where my audience is watching from. I've seen um, uh, viewers from Egypt. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel. If I make sure I get some food from your countries. Um, so that will, I, I, I look forward to it. I had, uh, I had a viewer from India who watched my, um, my video on, on Indian food. And he wrote me and told me that there's, um, there's different kinds of foods. It's like hundreds of foods, uh, different foods from India. And I, I'm looking forward to to uh, trying more different foods from India. Um, my favorite from India is butter chicken. I can, I can eat a whole tray of butter chicken. Love it. This is the papaya itself, the taste of it, and the coconut milk. Ah, oh, so good. I know, um, I know the foods I'm making on my channel is new to a lot of you who are from America. I know that, um, but if you just give it a try, I, you know, and see if you'll like it. If you want to, if you want to try something new, um, I'll be making more Polynesian foods as time goes on, but, um, these last couple of days, um, as we're approaching Christmas, I know we're all like, uh, um, with the wintry weather is starting to roll in, and and these are some of my favorite favorite uh, comfort foods from Tonga, and that I wanted to make, and and then we'll start um, we'll start making some different uh, Polynesian um, entrees. My daughter got a new puppy and um, she is so adorable. I'll show a picture. I'll show a video of her. Ready to go? You cannot go inside there. Here, Nami. Nam. She's so adorable. I, I've i never had a dog before. Ever since I was in my whole life, never had a dog. My daughter, who is 20 years old, ends up getting herself a puppy. And this puppy is already like three months old. So, oh my gosh, I fell in love with her. Fell in love. I love her. Um, and her name, um, her name is Tsunami. Some of my fam, some of my nieces and nephews calls her Tsunami and, and some others call her Neji, Neji. And so I don't know. Poor dog is probably com confused. <laughs> but, um, oh, she's so fun. So playful. Love it. So all you dog owners, I understand now. I understand. Because now that little puppy is my grandchild. I love her. Mm. When it's hard to get 
in there. Let's go like this. Well, you guys, I've kept you long enough, but whew, that was so, so delicious. So I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it. But I'll leave you right there. And thanks again for taking the time with me today. I loved every minute. Hope you have a great day, stay blessed, and we'll see you in the next video. Ofatu.